Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Games here. In this video, we're going to be converting a current given image to grayscale and black and white using Python and OpenCV. So if you're interested, without further ado, let's actually start writing some code. So the very first thing to consider, we need to import uh, open, uh, the CV2, the OpenCV package. In order to do this, we need to say import CV2. Then we need to open image file. So let's create the image variable equals to CV2 dot image read and it's called image dot JPEG. Just, just like we have the, the file name and we need to say cv2 image read unchanged so to not to not do anything to the to the image on its own then we want to display image in the window and here uh, we can simply say cv2 dot image show and our sorry this let's define uh the the name for a window so let's call it image dot jpeg and let's call it yeah just doesn't matter really how to call this uh and here our image now to make sure that we not that we don't stuck in the infinite loop we need to break out on any uh, on a key press on any key literally on a key press so cv2 wait key and zero just to listen to whatever to like uh, press any key then and eventually we need to uh, destroy windows so let's just call it some cleanups cleanup and cv2 let's say clean up windows cv2 destroy all windows so there might there could be like multiple windows. Okay, so Python three colors dot by and we should now see an image. So here is the image that is opened using uh, Python and OpenCV. Now the next thing to consider, we need to convert this image to the grayscale. So so here I just need to specify like default view. So the next one would be the next one would be the grayscale. So grayscale and here we'll show image grayscale. Okay, and now we need to create this. So convert image to grayscale. So, I'm creating a new variable called image grayscale, just the one that we're supposed to be displaying later on. So it would be equal to cv2.cvd color, which stands for convert color, I believe, color. And the source image is our image, the first argument. And then we need to say cv2 color bgr2 gray, like this. Okay, so probably, yeah, I'm not sure whether I should to use grayscale like this. Let's make it like so. Okay, and now it should display the grayscale. Can I, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, now we have this grayscale version of our window, so quite pretty nicely. Okay, and the next thing we need to convert image to black and white so we need to divide the threshold so this is just a dummy variable uh, uh, it's needed to make the following function work properly but the actual image that, that we would have been displaying is the next variable and call it image black okay so this would be cv2 dot threshold 
and we're using our image grayscale as the in uh, as an input so the the image that we're supposed to be applying threshold to so grayscale and cv2 thresh binary like this and also we need to specify a couple more parameters so the threshold itself and uh, the color that we're supposed to be using uh, as a background so in this case I'm using white color okay so we, we could use if we, if we reduce this number it would be like more uh, grayscale so I'll, I'll demonstrate this just right in the moment so here we have this grayscale and here we want to show the image black okay image black and here we have the black and white image so let's have a look what we get so far uh sorry just a typo threshold one h okay perfect but yeah we see that the threshold is not that perfect yet so we can play around with the threshold a little bit so let's try to make it to something like this okay so it's much better now but yeah probably let's try to make it even more okay i think i think this should be just okay just for demo purposes basically okay great so what else uh so we have kind of this sort of a three images yeah another thing to consider so let's say we say like 200s here in this case you see like instead of having the white background we have a grayscale background so if this is needed this this might be on the cards as well but i want to keep this white so the very last thing we need to do is actually to store the images so let's go for it so we want to store output images so here we can say cv2 dot image right and the first one would be image grayscale and the file name the file name obviously so let's call it image grayscale and also we want the same sorry we want the same for image black image black uh image black and let's make let's make it like png files here so yeah and now if we just open the folder we just open the folder here uh two more images should appear so it would still probably yeah it would display the black and white but uh here we have two more images appearing so the gray scaled one this is it and the black and white version as well like okay, you guys so this is it from my site i hope this tutorial was useful thanks for watching until the next time and take care